Welcome to watchersandart.com. This is the latest issue by Longines. Um, this is the so-called Longines Heritage Navigation Big Eye. As you can see, there is a big eye on the right in the totalizer. This watch is just about to enter the market. Longines sent me an early prototype. So I can shoot this video and some pictures for the blog. Um, the blog will have an article in the next couple days where you can see this watch from all angles and I will talk about it and its heritage. Um, there is a model that was made in 1971 which pretty much looks exactly like this watch. This is a picture from the Longines Museum uh, of the original watch from 1971. You can clearly see um, the new model is perfectly copied from this pretty much. Um, I assume that the movement back then was a hand wound movement. At this point I do not know which movement was in this watch. I spoke to a good friend of mine who actually had the big luck during Baselworld to put this watch here on his wrist. I didn't see it uh, during Baselworld unfortunately, but um, this is just a wonderful reinterpretation. I also saw this Longines uh, from 1937 on an internet site, um, actually a forum, and um, I think um, this clearly shows where the heritage comes from. Um, it probably dates back to even the 30s. So let's have a quick look at the case back. One more here of the case back. Um, it's a nice engraving of the typical airplane at Longines. Longines is just a wonderful brand with a lot of heritage. Some of the greatest chronograph movements were made by Longines, the 13ZN, um, the 30CH, lots of great chronographs in the past. Uh, some of those actually are fetching huge prices at auctions when they pop up. Uh, finding nice examples is really hard nowadays. So back to the heritage navigation. Uh, Big Eye, I just think this is a very great design uh, dating back to uh, the older 38 millimeter model um, in the 70s. This one here has 41 millimeters, a contemporary size. It's actually comfortable on the wrist, surprisingly comfortable uh, despite the size. I'm a 40 millimeter guy, that one millimeter doesn't matter at all. Great watch, it builds a little high maybe, but it has an automatic movement. So at 14 millimeter approximately height, um, I guess that's what it takes to put the automatic movement in there. The automatic movement is based on an ETA with uh, some in-house implementations by Longines. So let me show you um, the watch from all angles now. See, the case is actually a beautiful design. The lugs, I love this. This is just very well done. Case back. See the pump pushers are very cool here as well. I like that design the way it's made. They're very thick pushers and that's basically done because of the original purpose of these watches. They were pilot watches. Pilots had gloves on so they needed big pushers um, to use the watches back then. So let me close this with a wrist shot of this watch. You can see how it fits on a wrist. I'm a close to 200 pound guy. Great watch, great design. Somebody in my Instagram account uh, wrote today, this watch is a big hit and that's exactly what I believe.